Hello YouTube, it's Bebop307 here, and welcome back to Nietzsche and the Ox Tribe. Now in the last episode, Acorn decided to be a major butt chicken and cause a lot of trouble for us. He made it really hard for us to find food, and a lot of our Nietzschelings uh, passed away. I mean, mostly, luckily, to old age, but there was also a lot of sacrifices. A lot of them starved a bit, lost some of their life, and some of them even had to pick from spiky berry bushes in order for us to survive. And that is all because Acorn's a butt chicken. That's right, that's right, I said it, Acorn. You, you, you jerk. You jerk. But, um, so we are struggling majorly right now. Luckily, because of those losses of the uh, Elder Nieslings, we have managed to get down to a smaller and better number of Nieslings so that we are now being, we're now able to start building progress on how much food we have to start building up a bit of a supply. But, um, we aren't staying on this island because most of our Nietzschelings, they seem to actually be better fit for an oasis island. We have lots of water body, we've got lots of claw, we've got lots of barina claw, we've got a decent amount of fishing tail, and we would probably survive much better in a place where we could fish and fish and fish than in a place where we have to struggle like crazy to find berry bushes. But that's not the only thing. We also ran into three. Three Barinas in the last episode. One over here. This is friendly Barina, we're not counting him. And then two over in this direction. Two! We haven't been able to kill the other one yet, but he's hiding right here. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. The Barinas just one after the other kept coming at us, and oh my goodness, it was just so frustrating. But, um, friendly Barina, he's going to pass away in three days. I'm going to try to avoid smacking him. But, um, we might have to. It's only a few days though, so we'll have to see. But Seaweed, she only has five days left. So what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to get her as far as we can in this direction. And then on her last day of life, we're going to let her have her baby. And we are just going to hoof it to this island. So all of the Nietzschelings over here in this area, they are going to try to make a path up to this island. All the ones that don't have a berry bush to collect from, all the ones that aren't really able to dig up roots, they are going to try their best to help us clear out a road, a roadway, so that we can get to this island as fast as possible. Now, Trinka, you suggested and you made a pretty good point. It's probably a lot better for us to have a couple of babies, about five babies, that we take with us to the next island instead of taking the adults, because most of the adults, due to how much trouble and difficulty we faced, they they had they took a lot of damage. So the only one that I think I'd probably bring would be Bop because I don't believe Bop and uh, has taken any damage. And depending, I might take Bo. I might take Bo as well because he has water body recessive. But I don't really know. I mean, there's not many berry bushes on there. He does have fishing tail, so he'd be able to fish. And I really hope there's like clam shells too. I would I would really appreciate clam shells. But, uh, I'm not sure. I do feel like bringing Bop, and I'd like to bring his brother Bo as well, but I don't know. I'd probably bring Bop because he's a little bit closer this way, and he does have the digger paw, which can be very useful. But, uh, so that's where we are right now. We're going to try our best to scoot everybody as fast as we can, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Who just got hit? Did you just get attacked? I know somebody's bleeding. Okay, how much life does this guy have? He does not have a lot of life. First off, she's bleeding, so she needs help, but uh, we're not gonna let Pillow clean her wounds. Instead, we're gonna send her up this way, and she's going to work on clearing away some of that, uh, well, you guys aren't gonna breed. Can you breed, though? K and C, H and F. I mean, maybe you and Pebble could breed? I kind of, I would, I would kind of like that. So I think maybe we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna let them breed. We're gonna let them breed. I know it might not be the best thing, but uh, she does have a lot of the water body recessives. So you know, you know. Let me actually look at her genetics. We haven't encouraged anything, so I think what we'll do is we will try to encourage some more fishing genetics. So let's try to encourage the claw. And I don't know if there's any bad genes in either of their. Nope, nope, they're both pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to encourage Claw and Fishing Tail on both of these guys at the very least so that when we go to the next island, we are able to, um, we're able to really get a lot of food. 
So we're going to do the same for him. We're going to try to encourage Claw. I don't want to encourage it too much. But at the same time, if we get a double clawed Neechling, yeah, it's not too bad. And I'll try to scoot Pebble as close to the ports as I can. So she'll be one of the Neechlings clearing away a path. But uh, we're going to go ahead. We're also going to encourage Fishing Tail because that is going to be really useful. But, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to zoom in. Whoopsie doodles. Let's go ahead. Let's go away over this way. So this guy has 13 days. You have two strengths, so you're just going to end up taking four days off his life. Bo has two strengths, he'll just take off four. So that would only be eight days. I think maybe what should happen- you guys are related, aren't you? I was hoping Pillow and Golden Glow could breed. I was really hoping Pillow and Golden Glow could breed. But she is about to pass away. I mean, if I look at her genetics, she could also probably have a baby with John Quill. So, you know what? She only has, oh, John Quill only has one day though, so if I want them to breed, I don't think they'll be able to. <sighs> okay, so we've got some issues. I think first off, collect the berries. That's the first thing that we should do. And I think what we will also do is we might just let her swipe at this guy once, and then we're gonna send her all the way over here. And we're going to send him a little further away as well. I don't want to go too far away because I know that Barina is going to chase us. But we're going to try our best to just avoid getting hit because I want to keep our Nietzschelings that are alive now alive for as long as I can. But uh, everybody's, I think the initial scare is starting to calm down a bit. I think they're still a little, I think they're still a little bit terrified. Just a little because everything's so strange and there's just, it feels like there's no food at all. Oh, these only give us one, huh? Well, that's great. Okay, let's see if there's any roots around here that um, Bop can dig. So it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna go ahead. Leafy is going to help us out this way. There's a rogue over here. Her name is Anime. She is DNF and she has, okay, what does she have? She just, uh... I don't know if we, we can't risk inviting her. What we need to do, though, is try to collect this. Ah, oh, no! She took it! Ugh, Aname, you butt chicken! You butt chicken! Um, are there any roots over here? Any at all? Any? Oh, there's some back here? Really? Okay, so, Bop, actually come this way. Dig from this. So that way we have almost enough for everybody. And okay, so Ivy is also looking for food resources. We're still trying to kind of wait it out because I feel like it might be better to save this 10 extra meat um, uh, for when Friendly Barrena dies. I think it might almost be better to save it for when we're about to go. So that way we leave with at least a good decent handful of food so that whoever we take with us doesn't die straight away. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to move seaweed as far as we can. She only has four, day four, four, four days left. She only has four days left. Oh, okay, next turn he's going to go ahead and try to swipe up all of that. Let's see, I think there's something else we can collect from. I mean, it's going to be really hard to get enough food. Let's see. I do want to be careful because I don't want anybody else to get hurt food-wise. So we're gonna really have to try here. Well, first things first, let's just go ahead and send Arvid up this way. We'll let him try to dig. He didn't successfully get a root. I think, I think it might just be a good idea to swipe this up. It gives us a little extra food so that the next day we don't, you know, we don't struggle as much. And I think that uh, we do want to I don't know I'm not really sure what to do with golden glow I should start moving him up but I think we're actually gonna start moving Ivy up so she can start clearing away some more of the grass and hopefully make a little pathway over here we do have that oh, that evil berry in it right there hopefully we can slowly wheedle away at his health and that will get us enough uh, food try to dig that up no more roots okay so what we're going to really start trying to focus on is all of these Nietzschelings that don't have a berry bush because Bo is probably going to hop back and forth trying to get these berries. Um, all the Nietzschelings that don't have a berry bush, they're either one going to dig roots like Pillow and Bop, and they're probably going to really work on trying to carve a path, a quick path that will allow us to get to these ports sooner. 
but I don't know who else has moves. I think we actually don't have any moves, so I'm gonna zoom out. We've passed the turn. Friendly Barian is moving around. This will be his last day, so we'll be able to collect more food from him. I don't know where Mean Bar uh, Barian has gone, but first things first, we are going to move. Uh, we're actually gonna sit, we're gonna sit him here. We're gonna sit him here so he can hopefully, um, help her out. She only has two more turns, I think. She's three more days. So hopefully she'll be able to get to one of these nests and hopefully her baby will be able to move a lot further. We're gonna try to really get her scooting. But, uh, Bo, you have a lot of turns, so he's gonna hop down here and I think after that he's gonna work on clearing away some of the grass. And John Quill passed away. Pebble will- oh goodness, Pebble. Pebble's still fairly young. Ah, regrowing grass. Let your sister clear this. Why is it all regrowing grass? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna scoot her just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. Hmm. Let's make sure that we go ahead and gather up this. Let's make sure that we dig up this root. So let's sniff again. I don't know if there's anything else that we can collect over here, but I think Bot might start heading this way. And we're going to let you start clearing out this area around here, Tyrell, because Tyrell's kind of claimed this bush for himself. And Leafy has also claimed this, this little bush here for himself. We only have 10 food. We're going to try to avoid killing Friendly Barina, but we, we might have to. So now that we're here, we definitely- oh gosh, why is everything- I really hate the regrowing grass. I hate how much regrowing grass there is in the savanna. But at the very least, we're making a little pathway, and I think that I might send Arvid this way because the easiest path so far is this. So you know what I might do? I think Ivy might go this way. I think she's going to try to make a straight cut this way over, and we're going to keep Golden Glow here because he might swipe at the Barina to possibly get us more food. But I think that uh, I think that Arvid is going to go a little closer. Oh. Try to dig that. Okay. No matter what, I don't think we're going to get enough food. So, you know what? He's actually going to try to get closer to help us really work on clearing this out. So that we can have a nice little path up here. We're going to try to move everybody up that way. But I think that we have no choice. And Friendly Barina is about to die anyway. So, well, we wouldn't be getting his meat anyway until the next turn. Ah, I wish I had thought that through more. I don't know how many niche links are going to get hurt because of that. Let's see. If I hit... He's the only one who... <sighs> I really wish that you guys had big ears. Because you know what? Big ears would have been really useful. Okay. You know what? Anybody who's about to pass away or anybody who's actually super young should probably take the hit this time. So Ivy, she's already Omega. Um, I don't really want Sycamore to take the hit. And seaweed can't, so we're gonna give her alpha rank so that she would uh, wouldn't get. F okay, he's about to pass away anyway. Ugh, I just don't feel like. I mean, if this is his last day, I don't know if it's really necessary for me to go and whack him, you know? So, because I wouldn't be able to collect the food anyway. So we're gonna look around, Tyrell. Um, I don't want Bop to get hit. That is one person I don't want to get hit, and I. Don't really want Leafy to get hit because he's already so old, but at the same time, he is so old. So, we're gonna give him Omega. That's one, two, and I don't want Silky to pass away either. I guess we'll go ahead and give him Omega, though. We're gonna go ahead and give him the Omega rank as well. We'll pass the turn. Uh, friendly Barina will die. We'll get all the food that he can give us, and maybe we'll be able to snag that other Barina. Ah! So the meat is right there. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna sit him here. He's gonna collect this up for everybody. Golden Glow has taken the hit. We're gonna sit him to Alpha now. And we are going to move this lovely lady. She has two days. So we're gonna try to move her as far as we can. She can't go very far though, but what we are gonna try to do, we're gonna go ahead and swipe this up. Get all the berries that it can give us which wasn't too many, really. 
We're gonna leafy. Um, oh, I keep calling you leafy. We're gonna let Silkweed over here go ahead and clear that up. And I don't know where that rude Verena went. That rude Verena is just gone. Just gone. So that's uh, kind of a relief, but also kind of a little bit frustrating. But I think Ivy is. Oh gosh, thank you. You helped us build a path. Oh my goodness. I really. Growing grass. Growing grass will forever be one of. Oh gosh, so many pet peeves. So many pet peeves. Web tied legs and out this and ugh. Ugh. But we're gonna go ahead. We are going to try to clear out as much as we can. Um, Leafy. I feel like Leafy kind of has a little bit of responsibility to go down this way and help clear out what he can here. Okay. She only has one day left, so we actually need her to sit down and just have her baby. Now listen, I'm still not saying mean Verena, so she can go ahead and try to clear out more of this grass. Pillow herself has a little bit more to live. So we're just going to kind of clear out more of this grass in the hopes of finding some, you know, grass that isn't regrowing. And we're going to go ahead and scoot a little further in, and he found another berry bush. How awesome! Arvid, come over here. So Arvid hopefully can help us with that, but we're gonna continue clearing out the grass. And I don't know if there's, well, okay, so Bop wouldn't be able to get to that root anyway. So you know what, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna let him scoot down this way. And, uh, I, okay, let's move his brother over here. We're gonna move his brother over here. And we're going to scoot him this way so we can hit this berry bush. But he's going to help us a lot by clearing out more grass and kind of finding that other berry bush and gathering from it for us. And I think that we've moved everyone except you. So we're going to clear from this. And we're going to move her one step closer and let her have her baby. I think we have a baby to look forward to, actually. Oh my goodness, so many nichelings are going to pass away soon. This is one of the most painful things. Ever, 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 ever. But we're gonna pass the turn. And he has the gills. He has the gills, he has the gills. Let me click on him. Taduk here. Okay, so Taduk here actually has fishing tail. He has gills. He doesn't have water body. Um, he has fishing tail versus He doesn't have water body, but he does have a claw, so he can do a decent amount of fishing at the very least. And he can breathe underwater, which is good. So we need to go ahead and let's rename Taduk here. I'm so sorry you were born into such a stressful time, my friend. So, so sorry. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to name you Crocus. I don't know why, but Crocus seems pretty fitting for you. So we're going to name you Crocus. And we have little Crocus here, the only child of Pebble. And we're going to definitely try to get Pebble, uh, Pebble's Bibbit over here. Before we do anything else, though, collect up these berries. Collect up these berries. Oh my goodness. And continue clearing away the path behind you guys. We're actually doing pretty decently with the path clearing. And I think um, we're not doing too shabbily food-wise, but we definitely need some more food. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to sit you here. You're going to collect from this. That's ten. Right now we have some berries here. We are literally missing one. So that is barely enough to feed all of us. Barely, barely, barely enough. And we're going to continue working on clearing out this path. And I think Bo is going to help us try to dig in the, dig for roots. And let's see. Pillow. Actually, there are some roots nearby that you can dig. But how far can you move? Ah, see, that's an issue. She only has one day left. And she can't reach any of the roots. Ah, that is one of the most frustrating things ever. But uh, you know what she can do? She can help us clear out the path here so that it's easier to travel. Okay, and so can Leafy. Because Leafy, Leafy has actually a decent amount of life left. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to sit him here. He's going to help us clear out the way. And I still don't know where that other Barina is. I kind of wish we could find him so we could get more food. But we have everybody over here, and poor, poor Silkweed is about to pass away. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to let these guys kind of follow after her, protect her. She's going to set down a nest, and we're going to look around, see if there's any roots, which of course there aren't. But we're actually going to send Golden Glow this way as well, so he can clear up a path a bit more. 
And we're gonna set Sycamore by the nest so that uh, when this baby comes around, he can look after it. I don't know who else we have to move. I think we've, oh, we actually have you, so that's good. You can't swipe this, so what we'll do, I don't know, just continue clearing. I feel like that's a very useful thing right now. I wish you could have gathered more berries, but we have just enough to get us through the day, which is good. And we do have another baby to, to look forward to. And this baby is going to have to really hoof it to the next island, but we'll have to see. Hopefully they have lean body. But we're gonna pass the turn. They have Cracker Jaw. They have Cracker Jaw. She has Cracker Jaw. Rossi, you have Cracker Jaw and you do have lean body, so you should be able to run really far. Perfect. She does, however, have blind eye recessive and terrible, terrible fertility. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna fight against the blind eyes, and I'll decide on whether or not I wanna fight against the, um, the no pot and the fertility a little later. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna name her Dianella. Dianella is a really pretty name, and I think that'll fit you. So hello, Rossi. We're gonna name you Dianella. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll survive. Oh, we only have 11 each links? Oh, right. Pillow passed away. Okay. So, first things first, we need to get grooving. We need to get our booties on out of here. So we're gonna work on clearing away everything. Sycamore's gonna swipe at the nesting material because we don't need it there anymore. Bop is going to gather from this. We only have 11 nichelings to worry about, but uh, even then, that's still a bit of a struggle there. I don't know what else to do. Ugh. Clear away the grass and take your extra turn trying to dig for it. You too. Oh my goodness, of course we didn't get the food. Of course. <gasps> oh no, why didn't I grab? Who's here? Who's here? I know there's somebody there stealing my food. That was my food. That food was important. I needed it! Ugh! This is annoying. Okay. Use up your turns gathering berries from this. You gather a berry from this. That's seven. If we look around... Okay. If we look around... Well, first things first, we are moving you, little one. We are moving you. And we have to make sure that you are nice and safe. So we're gonna continue scooting this way. I don't know if we'll be able to get enough food. Actually, swipe that down. This will regrow, so you know what? That's fine. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move him this way. So we got 12 food, just enough to um, help us survive. Okay. We definitely need to try to get out of here. We should be swiping down berry bushes as we leave them, honestly as we go to get more food, but we're gonna go ahead, um, see if I need to move anybody else. Tyrell does need to move again, so he and Bop have been working pretty hard. Let's see, we're gonna let him clear that out, and uh, we definitely wanna make sure that as we're moving, we get rid of berry bushes behind us. But let's go ahead, pass the turn. Okay. Huh, <sighs> I feel so business-like. We're just rushing through everything, it's, it's weird. We only have one food now, only one extra food, and that uh, that's sucky. Can you dig? Ah, get the root already! Okay, so here's what's going to happen. You are going to collect this, and you are going to also use your extra turns to try and dig for this root. And what she is going to do is she's going to come over here and she's going to swipe this down to give us more food. Leafy is going to go ahead and gather from this. And he's gonna try and dig for a root as well. I really wish you guys were better diggers. <sighs> but uh, Bop is going to gather from this. And so is Tyrell. These guys, it looks like he's finally growing up. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna really work on sending him away from here. Ah, uh, curse regrowing grass. Is there anything you can dig in? Nothing. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just send you a little further ahead. And we're going to continue sending him deeper. Oh my goodness, I really... Aname, you've been such a huge issue. Thank you, Arvid. You've been such a huge issue, causing so much trouble for us. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to send Crocus way, way ahead. And what we're hoping is to get Nichlings who are close as far as they can. And the second Dian uh, Dianella has her second gem. We should be able to really book it out of here. But, um... Let's just check really quick. Can Crocus and Dianella breed? Crocus has H and C and Dianella. 
has DNA, so they actually can breed. And if we end up with just them before we go, because I think um, what I'm going to do is... Oh, I wish you could get rid of that. Um, I think I'm going to start... I'll, I'll leave Tyrell where he is, but I might start moving Bop around so that he can make it to the ports. And I might actually move Bo as well. I feel like it might be... I mean, it would just be kind of nice to have a few more niche links going with us. But I don't believe that I can move everybody else. So we're going to have to zoom out again. Pass the turn. <gasps> Ivy! You! What? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, she was our last girl, wasn't she? What a terrible way to get an achievement. Okay. We're gonna deal with you in a second, butt face. <laughs> We're gonna let Leafy gather up some berries. And we are going to move Dianella as far as we can. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you over here. Bo, I was really hoping Bo wouldn't get hurt. She can really book it. She can really run. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to let her run as far as she can. And we're going to let him try to dig in the roots. And this guy only has five days. Ah, you only do four damage. So we're actually going to, we're going to let you hit him anyway. And I think that, I wish you could move closer. So many I wishes. So many. Try to dig in the roots. Okay, so we actually can't move anybody. We can't move them because otherwise we wouldn't have the food we need. I'm tempted to just slash at that wanderer, but uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna send Crocus ahead, and we need some more berries. That guy's about to give us tons of food. So let's go ahead and let him dig here. Get that. Ugh! Can you get that? Oh, no, you can't. This is what's so annoying about this. Do you see this? You see the struggles? You see the struggles? I wish you could get rid of that too. Ugh. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send Leafy down here to hopefully claw from this. Leafy is about to die though, so I kind of want him to stay around. And I don't want Bop to get hurt either. What we should do though is put... Okay, whoever gets hurt gets hurt. I'm going to put Alpha uh, alpha ranking on Crocus and Dianella because at least if we can get them to the ports, then we're good. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and reveal this. I don't know who else can move if we can really. I don't think we can. This guy's about to pass away. I'm just going to pass the turn. Some people starved. Okay. We're going to let him collect that. Dianella is going to run up to the front. And before we do anything, actually, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get you out of here. Let's get you going this way. And Golden Glow, Golden Glow's not going with us. So you know what we'll do with him? We'll actually let them come up here and swipe down that berry bush. So we now have 10 food, which isn't a lot of food, but, uh, it's better than nothing. So you know what? Leafy... Leafy needs to swipe down this berry bush on his last day. Tyrell is going to collect from this berry bush. And I think Bop needs to start moving. Although honestly, I don't know if we're going to end up taking Bop with us. We have 12 food at the moment. 12 food. Crocus is up here all alone. And we really need to get Nietzschelings moving. So I think I'm going to scoot Bop just a little further. And I'm going to let Dianella run as far as she can. And Bop is just going to do his best to help her get there. So she is just going to run far, 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 and think she and Crocus are going to be the ones that we take to the next island, and I'm so sorry, you guys. I really wish it wasn't this way, but it's just been so difficult. So difficult! And at the very least, they both are very speedy little guys, and they, I think they both have fishing? If not, they can breed, and we can really try to encourage all the fishing genetics. But okay. You, sir, do you have anything you, you do have things you can dig up? Try to dig that up. Okay. We have enough food for this turn, thanks to that berryness. We're going to go ahead passing the turn. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure everybody gathers their berries. Uh, Tyrell's going to gather this. Bop is going to... I think um, we're just going to let Leafy go ahead and swipe this berry bush. And Tyrell is going to try to dig. 
I think Bop is actually going to go ahead, come over here, dig in the roots as well. We're not going to stress too much about anything else. These guys are going to work together to get rid of this berry bush on their last days because it will give us more food. So we're going to try to get rid of that berry bush. But these guys are going to work like crazy on getting to the ports and Bop is going, sorry, Bo is going to do his best to get them out of here. So now that we're here, these guys are going to slowly work on really making it out of here, and she's going to run ahead. So is he, and I think Bob is going to, sorry, I keep calling you Bob. I think Bo's going to follow along behind, just so he can help jump ahead and maybe gather berries as we go. But uh, I don't think we can move anybody else. We're almost out of here. Ah, oh, this has been so crazy. We're going to go ahead, we're going to pass the turn. Oh my word, you guys both die, no! Okay, we need roots though. We need roots, Bop. I'm really sorry, I wish we could have brought more of them. I really wish more Nietzschelings could have joined us. But it looks like we're actually doing pretty good. And I think what we'll do is we can swipe this, so he can swipe this too. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to let them collect. And then they're just gonna swipe it. They're just going to swipe it. And, oh no, she's stealing our berries! Um, okay, so here's what we do. He's gonna help us out that way. Um, we are going to try to seriously push it out of here. We're going to try to seriously push ourselves out of here. We're almost away, and then we'll just, we'll just be gone. We'll be free. We'll be free of this place. And we're gonna look for some more roots around Bop. It doesn't look like there are any, so he might try to get back up to that berry bush. And Bo might actually run back to those other berries so that he can get us some more food. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pass the turn. And of course there's a what? Who is dealing with a carnivore? Really? You wanna show up now? Please don't kill Sycamore. <sighs> Please don't kill Sycamore. You're gonna kill Sycamore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have eight food. That is enough for one turn. So what we're going to do is we're gonna send him back. I highly doubt he's even gonna be able to get those berries for us, but on our last turn here, he actually might be able to do a lot of good. So, okay, before he goes, okay. We now have one of them on the ports. We're almost out of here. Almost! But Bop, please tell me there's something you can dig up. No, of course not, because that would only be logical. Oh, you butt chicken, Anime. You butt chicken. I think we might start swiping at her. I think we might start swiping at her. Oh my goodness. But you know what? I don't think we have anybody to move. We're just going to pass the turn. And he died. I have Barina of all places. Why couldn't you just... Ugh. We're going to quickly gather up these berries, and I'm very tempted to just swipe at, um, at Anami here. Very, very tempted. Um, okay, we're going to ignore it for now, though. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to get him over here so he can dig up these roots for us. Get us a little more food. Okay, there's some roots right here that you can try to dig up. No success! No success! So we're going to go ahead. So there's... Five ports. There are some extra berries we could try to get, but honestly, I think it'd be better if we just tried to get out of here. So, oh, she had three turns? I wish I'd known that. I would have let her collect one berry. Uh, uh, you know what? We're just gonna go, you guys. Alright, New Island. Travel. Yes, just take us away from here. I don't know if we're even gonna do any better on this next island. Maybe we'll do, uh, this is a long episode, I just realized how long this was, whoopsie! Sorry you guys, but uh, hopefully with this we'll keep our, we're gonna try our best from now on to keep our tribe extremely small. And this is a very small island, it looks like. This is a small island and it definitely looks like it was a good thing that we have somebody with the gills here. So, okay, we've got six food. First things first, we do have a berry bush right here. And it looks like there, I wonder if there are clams on this island. There's a leech for sure. So actually, let's go ahead and let's just let that leech come over here. 
We'll go ahead and we'll swipe you up. That's right. That's right, buddy. Think we would be able to deal with you, huh? But all right. All right, you guys. We're on this new island, and I actually feel like we'll do much better here. We're going to try to keep our tribe super, super duper tiny, and we're going to do our best. But uh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry that all of that happened. Oh, please. Like, I'm going to go back to the normal savanna, please. I'm so sorry, though, you guys. I really wish it hadn't been so cuckoo nutter butters. But it was! I guess that's just how it is in the savannah. But we're gonna do our best to really survive here, and we're definitely gonna keep our numbers under control, and hopefully these guys will be able to really realize their culture and start a really, really good story together. But all right, you guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and the chaos. Again, I'm sorry, but, uh... I want to thank you all for watching, and I'm going to be bopping on out of here. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!